थ्री डी थ्री डी Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're flying from Hyderabad to Frankfurt with Lufthansa in their business class. As we stroll down the boarding ramp, here are a few tips for travelers departing from Hyderabad. Since the flight departs at 3 a.m., arriving at the airport around midnight definitely calls for a visit to the lounge to relax before boarding. If you're flying business class, you have access to the Encom lounge near gate 23. Skip the queue by showing your business class boarding pass at the front. No waiting required. Inside, the business class section offers a quieter atmosphere compared to the rest of the lounge. Now let's board the flight and see what awaits us. Will Lufthansa live up to our expectations? That's what we're here to discover. Join me as we settle into our seats and explore every aspect of this business class journey, from seat comfort to dining options. Let's find out if Lufthansa delivers on this long haul trip. Boarding was a bit disorganized, with some confusion at the door regarding strollers. It seemed they could have waited a bit longer after pre-boarding to start letting business class passengers in. As I approached the gate, lines were already forming to get onto the flight. In typical Indian fashion, you'll notice several crew members bustling around, likely busy with the same tasks. Due to the confusion about strollers and the numerous questions, it felt like an eternity to finally board the flight. However, once I turned left into the business class cabin of the Lufthansa 787, the atmosphere improved. Lufthansa uses Collins Aerospace Super Diamond seats, which are among my favorites. They offer decent privacy even without doors and are exceptionally comfortable for long-haul flights. Finding my seat, I was warmly greeted by a flight attendant. The cabin ambiance was serene, with soft lighting and a spacious layout that immediately set a relaxed tone for the journey ahead. It was inconvenient that everything, including the blanket and pillow, was placed on the seat instead of utilizing the ample surrounding space. This made it difficult to sit down immediately as I had to move things around first. The seat on Lufthansa's Boeing 787, featuring Collins Aerospace Super Diamond design, offers a blend of comfort and functionality. Known for its spaciousness and thoughtful amenities, including decent privacy even without doors, it's ideal for long-haul flights. The ergonomic layout and adjustable seat controls enhance comfort, making it suitable for both relaxation and productive work during the journey. There are enough storage areas around the seat. Champagne was offered immediately upon boarding, but the almonds were served in a cheap-looking paper bag, which seemed inappropriate for business class service. The TV remote was just tucked away in one of the storage spots. It worked fine and was easy to handle. The TV screen on the flight was impressively sharp and boasted a diverse selection of entertainment options. From movies to TV shows and music, there was something for everyone's taste. However, I was surprised to find that the selection of Indian content was quite limited, which seemed odd considering the departure point was Hyderabad. 
It would have been nice to see more Indian movies and shows available to cater to the diverse preferences of passengers on this route. As the menus were handed out, I noticed the selection was impressively extensive, offering a wide array of dishes to choose from. However, while the menu description set high expectations, the actual food didn't quite deliver the same level of satisfaction. Despite this, the wine selection was notably diverse, providing plenty of options to pair with the meal. If you're not interested in browsing through the entire menu, feel free to skip ahead two minutes. It's a shame when the culinary experience doesn't fully meet expectations, but the variety in wine choices helps balance things out. Here's a glimpse of the seat transformed into its bed mode, offering a spacious and comfortable setup for resting during the flight. Breakfast was served about an hour before landing. It was okay, but nothing extraordinary. I found myself missing the higher quality and a la carte options offered by airlines like Qatar and Etihad Airways. Upon landing in Frankfurt, my overall business class experience with Lufthansa was satisfactory. While there were no major issues, nothing particularly stood out as exceptional either. The service was awesome and on par with Etihad. The seat quality was good and the food was average. Would I choose Lufthansa again? It may not be my first choice, but I wouldn't actively avoid Lufthansa.